And tonight we are hearing from a political science expert who shares what both candidates are looking to accomplish during Tuesday's debate. Steve King joins us from Florida Atlantic University where that expert is weighing in. Kevin Wagner, professor of political science at Florida Atlantic University, says while normally a debate between two presidential candidates would not hold as much significance, this time it will likely be more important because of how late Democratic presidential nominee Vice President Kamala Harris entered the race. Vice President Harris is actually probably going to be introducing herself to many people in a way that is not typical for this late in the campaign. So it might actually be more uh, influential than is typically true just because of how many people are probably going to be learning about the vice president during the debate. As for Republican presidential nominee, former President Donald Trump. One is I, I think he'd like to stem the momentum that came uh, from the Democratic convention that has sort of pushed uh, Harris a bit in the polls. So I suspect that uh, that he's going to try and change that momentum and and change the narrative of the campaign. And of course, the second thing that he very much wants to do is kind of frame and define uh, the vice president in a way uh, that is going to have voters walk away from her. Wagner says right now, the Florida Atlantic University national presidential poll has the race too close to call, but Tuesday's debate could make a difference. It is one of those key moments where the candidates are going to be able to talk to the voters and get them on board. He also says a top priority for both candidates is avoiding a big mistake or bad showing and topics like immigration, reproductive rights, the economy, and household budgets will be discussed by both candidates Tuesday. Wagner says for Tuesday's debate and after, the key for both candidates likely will be focusing on issues that motivate as many of their supporters to get out and vote as possible. It might not be a matter of persuading voters that are voting for your opponent to vote for you because that has proven to be very, very difficult, especially as polarized as the electorate is. It may simply turn out to which side is able to motivate and excite their voters enough to turn them out in slightly higher numbers. Reporting in Boca Raton, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.